Shalom everyone. Um, thought I'd do a video this morning. Uh, a bit cold here in Melbourne. That's why I'm wearing my uh, Peruvian chuya. All right. Uh, had Hebrews 13:17 in mind this morning. Um, obey your leaders and submit to them, for they keep watch over your souls as those who uh, have to give account. Um, but let them do this with um, joy and not with grief, uh, for this would be unprofitable for you. Right, um, a couple of things there that need to be discussed. The first thing is um, uh, what is a leader? And the difference between a leader and an idol is uh, very subtle um, because they both stand between God and man. and mediators right and i think for myself the difference between a leader and a idol is that god chooses the leaders god chooses his leaders and an idol is chosen by the people for the people and we see that in the golden calf incident uh, the golden calf um, didn't replace uh, Yehovah as such, but he replaced uh, Moses for the most part. And it's there in the text if you read it. Um, yeah, um, so my first thought is what is a leader and how do you recognize them? Well, um, the scripture teaches us that a leader is to be husband of one wife, not given to drunkenness and having his house under submission and I think those are pretty good uh, telltales if a man can't take care of his house and lead his house properly um, then how can he lead the house of God and so we see things like um, um, leaders who the wife is the leader of the house and nothing wrong with the ladies um, but I think uh, it's not their role. The role of a husband is to lead the house. And so when you see women in authority of their houses, there is something wrong there. I would not submit to that. Um, also, if the children are uh, disrespectful and um, not godly, um, then there is issues with the leadership of the home. And so that's how you pick out who the leaders are. Um, the marriage is a very big indicator um, because um, they need to be united, they need to be one, one flesh, as the scripture says. So if the marriage is good, um, then the, the house is going to be good, the children are going to be um, secure and obedient and all of that stuff, and then um, the rest of it just falls into place. So those are a few um, telltale fruits um, of a good leader and, and someone that is worthy for you to submit under. Um, the other thing is that the the people that are good leaders are usually very prayerful. Um, they're devoted to the learning and of Scripture, and um, they were very well versed in. Um, a lot of different subjects. They might not be experts at everything, but um, for the most part, they, they try to um, make sure that they know what they know before they teach it. And that's a pretty good sign of a good uh, leader, a good teacher, because they can they take the weight of the responsibility that is on them, and they make sure that what they teach is uh, right. And righteous so um, <clears throat> doesn't mean that they're always gonna get it right it just means that they are responsible for what they've been entrusted with and I think that's very 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 important the first word they obey um, it's got to do with persuading uh, not so much with obedience as we understand it but it's got to do with finding favor if I have found favor in your eyes then um, 
that's what it means and then uh, to submit means not to resist and the important thing is that um, uh, we keep watch um, over the souls of men as those who have to give account again the responsibility of having to give account for those who are under our care is very big and important to uh, to a good leader and do not grieve them um, I find that in our Hebrew roots there's a big problem with uh, submitting and obedience to leaders and I think it comes from the fact that um, we've been lied for so long of us coming out of our Christianity and um, yeah it's just a uh, it's just a result of where we're coming out of. Um, we've been lied for, you know, I, I was lied for about 23 years. Um, but I don't think it was intentional. I think it was because it was misguided by the Christian theology and all of that stuff. But when we come out, we come out uh, somewhat angry. And um, we find it very hard to submit after that. And I think that's a big problem in our move, and I'm just putting that out. Guys, um, we need to learn to submit now that we're in the right path. Um, don't give your leaders grief. Uh, we need to be submitted to one another, and um, especially for those who are prayerfully watching over our souls. Um, you know, one of the one of the big things in marriage is that um, when we marry someone, we marry them for life, and um, you know we don't go off after strange flesh. And the thing is the same in in when we enter into a relationship with leaders, um, we need to be what's that word? Um, Husbands of one wife, we need to be with the one person, you know, and and make sure that we are um, we are supporting those who care for us, who are in the gap for us, who are praying for us, who are uh, leading us into the things of God, and um, trying their very best to give us um, what they think is is true. Not that we don't have to have these agreements, um, but um, yeah, we need to make sure that we're um, we're in obedience because um, it is commanded. Basically, um, it was there when Moses was a leader in the seventy, and um, you know. Always God has someone uh, that he entrusts with the lives of his people to shepherd them and so on and so forth. So we need to be aware of that and make sure that we're not uh, rebelling. Faithfulness was the word I was looking for. We need to be faithful. That's all. Um, signing out and um, hope you enjoy this video as well. Shalom everyone.